For the first time this season, the Buffalo Bills brought the pads out at training camp. Josh Allen threw two interceptions at St. John Fisher Saturday, and Allen is looking sharp for the Bills so far. Injury news for Kyle Williams is better than A.J. McCarron today. Sean McNervant would not reveal specifics, but did say Williams would not need surgery at this point. In front of a crowd of almost 5,000 people Saturday at the Blue Cross Arena in Rochester, the St. Bonaventure Bounties came to town and defeated the Fordham Rams 71-64. It was a great day here at the Carrier Dome for the Aquinas Little Irish as they won a state championship, beating New Rochelle of Section 1, 21 to 14. Karan Robinson, what a touchdown he had. The Rochester Red Wings honored their 10 millionth fan Sunday. Caitlin Clemente of Greece received lots of prizes. What a surprise for her and her family. She never expected that to happen coming to her first game this season. Baseball or snowball? The Jamesville DeWitt baseball team usually plays and practices this time of year, but with stuff like this on the ground, they've been forced to move their games and practices to other schools to fulfill their schedule. The Batavia Muck Dogs may have home field advantage, but there were plenty of fans rooting for the opposing pitcher today. Adam Scott, a Canandaigua native, made his return to Western New York pitching with the Mahoning Valley Scrappers. The Rochester Institute of Technology men's ice hockey team has high hopes for the postseason. The Tigers are currently within the top five spots in the conference and are hoping to go far. The biggest thing is we just uh, got to come in with more intensity, I think, than last year. I think last year we kind of thought, since they were the last place team, that maybe it was going to be an easy series. And we learned that uh, there's nothing, there's no such thing as an easy series in the playoffs. So I think we got to come in with a tougher mindset and uh, hopefully this year we'll go deep. What sophomore Jake Hamaker is referring to last season is when the Tigers were bounced from the first round by Sacred Heart. This season, Hamaker has a higher goal he is thinking of for himself and his team. Personally, I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever won a major championship with a hockey team before. So to do that with this team would just be incredible. And uh, like the saying goes, uh, champions walk together forever. And I want to walk together forever with these guys. The RIT hockey team has two goals in mind going into the postseason. Of course, shooting for the national title. But the most important goal as of now is a first round bye in the playoffs. You know, I think that first round bye is huge. It just limits the number of games that you have to win to win a championship. And I think if we can get that bye and, you know, um, just work that, hard, work that much harder for those wins and uh, come out on top. Junior Adam Brubaker thinks the Tigers are ready for the playoffs if they keep playing hard. They played a nationally ranked team during the regular season, Arizona State. And while they couldn't beat the Sun Devils, Brubaker thinks that series was a game changer as the Tigers prepare for the postseason. I think that's a learning experience for us. You know, we know we can play with the top teams now, and um, if we get through in the championship, we'll have to play against those top teams. So if, uh, if we can keep that going, that's a good, a good strategy for us. And during that series, Hamaker got an opportunity that he knew he couldn't pass up, getting to score a goal on a penalty shot. We do uh, penalty shots after practice, mm -hmm. and uh, if you score, you keep going until there's only one guy left. So. Uh, I don't know, this year I've just been pretty good at my practice, so coach put me out there in uh, games, and luckily uh, against Arizona State, he put me out there and uh, went in. Like Hamaker and Brubaker, senior captain Abbott Gerdukas has high hopes for the postseason. With one last chance to win a championship, Gerdukas thinks he can go out on top. We've had a good year, and it's just coming down to crunch time here heading into the playoffs. I think we're all excited, and we're just trying to get to the top of our game so we can have a good playoff push here. but. Yeah, it's definitely been a good year, my last year too, so you want to make it the best you can. The Tigers are hoping to go far in the Atlantic Hockey Tournament, hoping to bring a national championship back to RIT. Reporting from the Gene Policini Center in Henrietta, Ben Vahey, Talent TV Sports. The Spencerport Rangers girls soccer team has been ranked number one in New York State going into the sectional playoffs once again. Senior captain Aaron Koykendall, a standout player, thinks the Rangers are ready to compete and very confident that they can go far. We just try to take it day by day and focus on ourselves and do the little things. Um, we don't really try to worry about the opponent too much, just worry about ourselves and what we need to do. Spencer Port has won two back-to-back -back state championships in Portland. In 2016, they took down Jamesville DeWitt 2-1 with Koykendall scoring two goals in that game. And in 2017, they tied with Pearl River from Long Island 2-2, making them co-champions. Senior Olivia Wall thinks the Rangers can make it there again and bring another state championship back to Spencer Port. The goal is definitely to make it back to Portland uh, this year. Um, 
I think that just take it day by day, each practice, each game, just focus on what's in front of us. That's what's gotten us this far, and uh, it'll get us back to where we need to be. The Spencerport girls soccer team is looking to head to the state title game again this season in Cortland, but Aaron Koykendall and Olivia Wall also play lacrosse together. They will have one more season together before they graduate and head off to Division I programs. It kind of helps us in lacrosse, like a, a good core of our team is on the soccer team as well, so it gives us like the taste of success in the past um, and lets us know like what we, what we need to do to win and how to be successful. But. Just knowing that it's not the end with them, like this is my senior year, but like to have another season upcoming is nice too. We played together for six years, so we have that chemistry and uh, we really work well together. We know how each other plays and how to work off of each other. And uh, we have the experience of success from soccer that we can use in lacrosse. The lacrosse season may not be until the spring. Koykendall and Wall are in their final soccer season at Spencerport, looking to bring back a third New York State championship before they graduate. After high school, Koykendall is heading to Northwestern and Wall is headed to Cornell, both to play lacrosse. In Spencerport, Ben Bain, Talent TV Sports.